Here at Lab Rats, we're always 90 degrees because we're always right. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Lab Rats. My name is Risa, and today we're going to be talking about the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagoras, a famous Greek mathematician and philosopher, discovered the Pythagorean Theorem through his boredom. He was studying stone square tiles in a palace and pictured right triangles within the tiling. He recognized that the area of the squares on the side lengths were equal to the square on the hypotenuse. The formula shows the relationship between the side lengths of a right triangle. A and B are side legs that form the right angle, and C is the hypotenuse, which is the side leg across from the right angle. Let's head to the lab and recreate how Pythagoras discovered this theorem. For this lab, we're going to be using Cheez-Its as our unit of measure. You will need 50 Cheez-Its. Let's create three squares with side lengths of 3, 4, and 5. Using these squares, let's create a right angle triangle. The side lengths of the three and four squares will form the right angle, which means that A and B are represented by these sides. The five square will be our hypotenuse represented by C. If we solve for the area of all of the squares we created, we would have nine, 16, and 25. If we rearrange the Cheez-Its from the three and four squares, we can create a perfect five by five square of Cheez-Its. Notice how the areas of the squares formed by the A and B side lengths add up to the area formed by the C side length. The Pythagorean theorem states that in a right angled triangle, the square of the hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of squares on the other two sides, which is what we saw with the Cheez-Its. The formula is helpful to use when solving for an unknown side length of a right triangle. In the real world, architects use this theorem to calculate the heights of buildings and the lengths of walls. Now that you've learned about the Pythagorean Theorem, you can continue exploring with Cheez-Its and different side links. And as always, happy sciencing!